Hello, welcome to another Raggy's uh, beer review. So, I've just brought the dog down the shed for the very first time. God, I hope he's nipping on the floor, but it'll hurt to feed. Um, but in any case, so, we're drinking today from Blue Monkey Brewery. That's why the camera's wobbling. Go over there. <laughs> uh, it's Infinity IPA. He sounds a rag, I'll just sniff around, bless her. 4.6% uh, golden ale. Um, Champion Golden Ale of Great Britain 2017. That is quite the award, isn't it? You know, um, when you think about it. Can I have a look around, baby? Yes, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, when you think about the, the all the beers in Britain, that's a lot of beers. There's a hell of a lot of Golden Ales. So, um, yeah, she's having a right good sniff. No, it's not licking the floor. Boo's on the floor. Massive amounts of citra hops go into each brew to give this multi-award winning IPA a distinctive yet traditional taste. A great first quencher. Brewed and bottled in the UK in Giltbrook, just on the outskirts of Nottingham. Uh, certainly in Nottinghamshire. And uh, just next to Derbyshire as well, funnily enough. Not overly far away from... Um, and the likes of Blue Monkey Brewery. I'd like to see Blue Monkey and... Uh, sorry, bang the elephant. I'd like to see Blue Monkey do a Blue Monkey and Friends box set. Uh, showcasing. If any brewery could do it, and have got the, the willingness probably to do it, it would be Blue Monkey, other than a lot of breweries. Some breweries out there don't seem to play well. And... Uh, yeah, Blue Monkey do seem to be on that. Hello, baby! <laughs> so, yeah, lovely golden paw there. Nice white head. Had this on cask m many, many, many times over the years. Um, I put it in the Nottingham Craft Beer Festival glass. So, I'm still hoping that um, the Blue Monkey are at the festival this year. I want to understand why I'm not, but obviously, I'm not privy to what. Not invited into any discussions with beer festivals or anything like that. Whether they think I'm not the sort of person who'd, who'd partake, you know, uh, then they'd be wrong. But, uh, yeah. Or maybe they just don't like me. So, yeah, it is what it is. I ain't going to lose no sleep over it. I have done in the past. I've been wound up by things I've seen on social media. Uh, with breweries that... Um, from all parts of the country and uh, yeah the line of snubs has been so long that yeah I just gave up and forgot uh, but anyway lovely golden ale lovely fruity beer dog's looking at me like what's he talking to oh. go on pop it get up 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 go on then let me just put her up on the settee. One sec. <laughs> Come on then. There you go. Come on then. Put your nose down. Yeah. Oh, bless her. She's all a bit nervous. I've just got that on again now. <laughs> Hello. Good on you. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's tasting lovely. I was actually at the, for the first time yesterday. I went to the Blue Monkey. Um, Organ grinder in there, lovely pub, uh, nice people on the bar, although they, the, the lady did look a bit miffed when I says, oh, I want some cast beers from over there. And you know, when you can read a person's face, and uh, bless her. Funnily enough, I am doing um, a, a review of each of the, um, each of the pubs I went to yesterday, so yeah, my own reviews anyway. Um, just just so for the public to see what, you know, let them know uh, from people from further afield. People are local already know the pubs anyway. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, um, tasting lovely. Nice fruitiness to it. Um... Just an easy drinking beer, and first quenching, well, yes, definitely, definitely. 
And one of the beers I do tend to go to on the bar over at, um, which has got up now, uh, over at, um, <laughs> right good sniff around the brass. She's such a baby. And uh, she's never, you know, she's had seven or eight weeks now of being with us. And it's, it's so, so new. She's never even been down to the shed before, never been in the bottom of the garden. Uh, primarily because I need to make sure the garden's safe, no glass, no nothing. Um, we'll be nosy round the shed. And they're going to come up on camera. Hey, pop it. Hey, Papa, come. Oh, 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 oh Daddy's baby. So, the first Pepper and Dad beer with you, yes? Yeah. <laughs> you okay? And, uh, yeah. She's gorgeous, she really is, aren't you? Yeah? And uh, heals, helps us heal our broken hearts with our dog. You know, we had Charlie for 16 years, uh, 16 and a half years, and we absolutely adored that little dog. And uh, she's very, um, he was a male, she's a female, and she's very, very different, aren't you, Pepe? Yeah? And uh, she's getting used to us. You can't do the same things, you know, that you used to be able to do to Charlie. Could wind him up a treat and, uh, and, and play with him. But this one's getting there. She's slowly getting there, aren't you? Aren't you? And having a good look around, as you can see. So what's all these bloody glasses? And who is he talking to on that phone? <laughs> is that you on the phone? Who's that? Pepper. Is that Pepper on the phone? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Got a lot of dogs, haven't you? You know, they are beautiful. This one is, aren't you? Yeah. Right, do you want to get down then? Go and do your sniff snips. Go on then, baby. Oh god. Yeah, nearly fell off the chair. And that's, that's with only a, a little bit to drink. Uh, so anyway, back to the day. Mm. Oh, going down an absolute treat. Here we go. And I, I still think the modern traditional beers are so relevant for, um, for Blue Monkey. So, as they expand their craft beer range all the time and, you know, try new things, it's an exciting world to be in, the world of beer. I personally think, anyway, from an outside point of view, brewing new beers, um, testing what works, what doesn't work. I'm really, really tempted to go myself into more brewing. Uh, obviously, mine's all small batch, 24 litre brews. That's if I ever get it to 24 litre. I ain't managed yet, but but I, I, I want to do variations of things. A bit like what Blue Monkey do, to be fair, where they, they, they make, they're doing some amazing different stuff. And, um, yeah, and, and then inter modern interpretation sometimes of a classic. Now, I personally think ESB is one of the nicest beers out there. I don't think Blue Monkey do their own ESB, um, unless they have. And I'm just looking over here, because over on this wall, I've got a load of Blue Monkey um, pump clips that I bought from from them. Um, Gorilla Chocolate Stout, Blue Barbon Custard, Infinity and what? In, what's that one? Infinity and Beyond, 5.6%. Centennial, Royal Blue, Navi Blue, Na Collaboration Blue. I'd love that to be rebrewed um, because with navigation gone now, you know, sad day for for the, for the local beer scene. Another brewery disappeared. Um, yeah, really sad. But anyway, on with the beer. Delicious, slightly fruity, golden ale. Amazing on cask, amazing in bottle. Uh, would I drink it again? Yes, the most definitely. Out of five, for me, 
all day long a good 4.2 out of 5. And that's it for this review. Thank you for watching. See you soon.